Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, I want to talk about an electron terminal emulator called Hyper. Now, you may be thinking, well, why would I want to install an electron terminal? Perhaps you want to get Vim as slow as Atom. But uh, in all seriousness, though, if you look at it, um, <clears throat> it, it is a very nice terminal to look at. So let's take a look at it. So I'm going to type in Hyper just into Google here and want to use this website, uh, hyper.is. Okay. And we'll go here and I'm going to go to download. I'm on a Chromebook that's running uh, Linux Debian. Um, I want to download the 64 bit. If you have an ARM Chromebook, I think you can download this one. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the .deb file and so that makes it nice and easy to install. And then I'll show you some themes and talk about performance and so on and so forth. Okay, so now it's downloaded. So let's go to uh, the downloaded file, which is here, and I'm just going to click Install with Linux. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. Click OK. This is uh, real time while I'm filming, so it might take a little bit longer to install. Okay, it did take a little bit of time while I was filming to install, so I clipped out a little bit. Um, all right, so now it's installed, and if I go to my apps here, I see I have Hyper. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to, once it opens, I'll pin it. Okay, so now it's open. I'm going to pin it here on my taskbar. Uh, you'll see that it opens only to this small little thing here. Now you may be wondering, well, is that what I'm going to get? Am I going to get a small version of it? Um, <clears throat> well, if I open it and then I open it to full screen and then close it again and I reopen it, it's going to open to full screen. So it will remember what I'd open to. I think there's also plugins where you can get it open to a certain size, but you know, full screen is fine. So this is the default theme for Hyper. Uh, let me blur out something. I'm going to just SCP into um, uh, timunker.com so I can show you what it looks like with Vim, with the default Vim. Uh, so let's go. So this is uh, no Vim RC. This is what it looks like with Vim out of the box. Actually, pretty good. So, you know, the Vim look is affected somewhat by the terminal theme. Uh, so the default theme is pretty nice okay now let's say you wanted to do a different theme okay so let's um let's go search for hyper themes and one of the things you'll note about is this themes hyper store if you actually look up here on this website you'll see that it has themes and you see there's only four themes you might be thinking oh there's only four themes well if I also go to newest, there's a bunch of other themes here. So there's a lot of themes. And then uh, you can look and there's some other uh, compilation of themes. So this third result here, which is BNB awesome dash hyper, delightful hyper plugins, themes, uh, and so on. We go here and we go down. Uh, let's, let's just click on themes so it brings it right. So you can, you can scroll down to a whole bunch of things, but here's a bunch of themes. So we have city lights here and the way you install a theme, let's install city lights. So we'll do hyper I uh, for install and then hyper city, I think it's the name of the theme. So hyper city dash lights. Okay. I'm going to hit enter and it's updated and now you can see the theme changes a bit. So if I go back and I go back through my commands and I do, I uh, get into that file that I was looking at online, you'll see that the, with the default Vim theme, it's a little bit different. Now, if I'm not setting term GUI colors in my Vim RC and I just want to change one of the other themes, I notice that uh, Delic looks pretty good. Um, with that. So you can play around with your Vim themes as well. Obviously you can install default Vim theme and you can
customize this a bit, which I'll talk about in a moment. All right, so I'm going to quit out of here and clear this out. And uh, there, so there's a whole bunch of different themes here. Um, let me actually get this bigger too. To increase the font, we just do the control plus equals sign here, and that'll increase the font. Uh, and then to decrease the font, we do control I or control the minus sign, and that gets it smaller. And we can do control zero to get it back to the default. But I'm going to put it larger for a minute, and you'll see it tells me what font it goes to. So we're at 15. I want to go up to let's go up to 16 there. Uh, so that looks good. So you can see it. Um, one cool theme they ha have here is uh, it's on these themes here. And I went to one of this. If we go down, we have, they have Night Owl, which is a VS Code theme. They also have Shades of Purple. So if I want to get that one, I can do Hyper I, uh, and I have to put the name Shades of Purple Hyper. Okay, and I'll go ahead and install that and I'll update it in just a moment. Okay, so now we have this shades of purple theme, which is also pretty nice. Uh, if I want to just get rid of these themes that I can install, I can cd into dot config, uh, hyper and lowercase, and then I can open the file, which is dot hyper dot js. And you'll see down at the bottom, if I go to the top of the file here, I go gg the top of the file. But if I go down in the file, let's just change themes here. Uh, no, I don't like that one. So see, so you can get a bunch of different themes here. Uh, and that's how Murphy's showing up. Anyways, so if I go down here and I want to get rid of um, these themes, all I have to do is delete in between these square brackets each of the themes I want to get rid of. So let's say I want to just get rid of Hyper City Lights and keep Shades of Purple. I'm just going to delete that and save it. And uh, now I don't have that other plugin theme installed. Likewise, if I wanted to get rid of Shades of Purple and just go back to the default, I can just delete it and save. Okay, so now it's rewritten. And now it changes back to your base config. And uh, that actually looks a little bit better with Murphy. It kind of goes along with the actual theme. OK. Uh, the other thing you can do is if I do control comma, it's actually going to open up in the browser here. And you'll see that in this dot hyper JS, if we scroll down, um, you see that we have a background color here. So if we want to change that, so let's go back into here and let's uh, go to the top and search for background color. Uh, and we got the terminal cursor here. So we got a terminal color and RGBA. Um, let's do that again. Background color, terminal background color. Uh, if we go here, you see that this background color is 000. Let's say I wanted to change that to, um, let's do, you know, if we did white, we do FFF. Say, uh, that's not going to look so good, but just to demonstrate. So we'll save it. And now, now we have this white terminal background. But I could also do you know, something like 333. Again, save it. You barely see the screen there. And that's a, a lighter black. But So the default, again, is 000. It's just default black. But you can change all the colors here. So you can make your own theme in this Hyper.js if you really want to, and dot .hyper.js. Now I would back up the file before you start messing with it too much. Um, OK, so that's, that's theming. So you can get a whole bunch of themes. You can, uh, we've got this. This website here that has them, but even if you, there's a theme that's not on there, you might want to search for it. So if I wanted to search for Hyper, Hyper Cobalt 2, um, I see that there's a, the theme Cobalt 2 by Wes Boss, uh, and I could install that. The name of the theme is Hyperterm Cobalt 2 Theme. Uh, so if I wanted to install that, I would do Hyper I um, Hyper to Term. Cobalt to 
uh, theme and hit enter. And as long as I get the name correct, it's going to change the theme. And now we'll see that it's a Cobalt 2 theme, which is pretty nice. Uh, another way to install a theme, let's go to another theme. I'm talking a lot about themes right now, but um, let's say I wanted to, let's look down these themes. Let's say I wanted to do material here. That's a good theme. So there's a couple of different ways we can install it. So we can, we can do the hyper I and then do the name of the theme, but we can also go to your .hyper.js file and just include this in the plugin. So let's actually do that. So let's cd into config hyper, um, and then we'll do vim hyper.js. Okay. Um, and we go down here to our plugins down at the bottom. Okay, let's get rid of this hyper cobalt 2 theme. Let's just get rid of that. And, and instead we want to put hyper term material. All right, so we're going to in between quotes, hyper term material and close it and then save it. And you can see the configuration is updated hyper is reloaded and now so now we have this material theme so if i quit out of here this is the material theme by hyper okay uh, let me go to the home directory here so that's that um what do i think in terms of performance it's not quite as snappy as say a native terminal um, but it does work pretty well you can see i'm recording i'm on a chromebook that has four gigabytes of ram i haven't done any swap enabling with it the processor isn't super fast on this chromebook i'm recording with screencastify and i was going into a remote page uh, online so i was doing a few different things with it and it was working just fine now uh, if i was running say atom and hyper and vs code all at once i'd probably experience some slowdown and maybe a, even a potential crash i don't know i haven't combine all those two together. But by itself, running Vim, uh, it does run pretty well, and the themes are really, really nice. Um, I think that if you're staring at a terminal a long time, a lot of people think that that's not important, but maybe maybe a theme is inspiring you to build a better website when you're using Vim in a nice-looking terminal. Uh, anyways, give it a try. It uh, seems to work pretty well, uh, and maybe you'll like it. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you did like this video, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.